All right, there we go. All right, so it look like I have to start my intro over, right? What is going on, Collective? Uh, it's your boy, Adam Raw. Welcome back to my channel. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, today, I have a different video in the video box. Uh, I figured that that was very important to somebody out here. But essentially, uh, the reader was talking about the PPP loan conundrum. Um, real quick, I'm going to add my two cents in with it. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, the federal government has been investigating certain people who have been getting those fraudulent uh, PPP loans, right? Now, um, according to the video, um, there was some talk about um, basically the people who are doing spiritual warfare on you were using these funds to do it. Okay, and so basically when the government came and was like, okay, well, you got it fraudulently and it's now it's an investigation, they are tracking back where all the funds went. And in tracking back, hold on, let me plug this in right quick. And tracking back where the funds come from, they discovered some stuff. Okay, they're going to discover some stuff. If they haven't done it already, they're going to discover some stuff. Especially about uh, which witches and uh, practitioners overseas, um, um, phones, certain lines of communication and stuff like that, uh, conversations. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be a lot of that. And plus, you know, you got a lot of people on the inside who's actually um, talking. And it's because essentially what it breaks down to is the demonic energy of uh two individuals who started this whole thing for no fucking reason and generally what happened is they were using these funds inappropriately and they were using it to like um basically do whatever they chose to do you know and it's no fair to you know to us because essentially what this person did you know with this in a narcissistic way they pretty much we're going around paying people to do all kind of different things okay uh part of that was like spell work against you hitman hiring hitman hiring uh witches and warlocks and shamans that would do death magic on people to kill them in their sleeps and things of that nature um they've been testing it out they even probably tested spells on your family and then tried to attack you right after to see if it works or not and then they have children that's been staying that they use their children involved in this too to what have them watching you and stuff like that that's why i'm praying to god that they involve the rico act and get everybody involved because even if it is children these children are old enough to know the difference between what's wrong and right you know or at least they'll be able to tell what happened right okay so um basically that was all i had um i'm gonna see what the ancestors got out here i didn't get any messages or anything like that today i did recently just a second ago i saw archangel uriel out here um he was with his sword he was standing uh somewhere with his sword waiting for somebody to um i guess waiting for someone to attack is the vibe that i'm getting here or waiting for uh, something to, like some kind of spell work or something, for somebody to do some kind of spell work or something like that. It's like, there's somebody who's doing spell work and Archangel um, Uriel is watching them do it, but he's waiting until they're done to do something. I don't know what it is exactly. So even if they started it or conspired to start it and stop or try to reverse it, I believe that once you start getting the energy in motion, it's hard to stop it, pull it back and retreat because it's kind of like having like a wagon load. You know, you take an emotional if your emotional energy has weight on it. And when you take that weight and you uh, add it to like something that's in motion, which is energy, right? It's almost like trying to stop a bus with your bare hands or trying to stop a, um, a car. Essentially, what happens is when you get in the way to try to stop it, it runs you over, right? Same concept here. So either way, whatever, either way, it's it's going back, whatever or wherever it come from, right? 
so back like i said we got the signs and the houses uh i've got some assistance today i have a book that i'm going to use today and we're going to um get back to combining astrology with um the tarot okay uh, essentially, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start tracking different things down using my tarot cards. And um, based off of trial and error, you know, I'm going to start small or whatever. And then from there, it's going to build into something bigger. So uh, Today, let's see what we got. Um, we got Mercury in the 10th house here. There's somebody who's like an orator or somebody who speaks a lot in, uh, as a career. So uh, something could be going on with somebody with uh, Mercury in the 10th house. Uh, just one second. Let me look in here real quick. Mercury, 10th house. Yeah, that has to do with like... Um, Mercury in the 10th house generally has to do with, um, you know, uh, speaking, um, whether it's someone's career taking off or being hindered. It also could be somebody uh, being intelligent or being uh, restricted or held back in their career. Um, also, this could also talk about, uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, it has something to do about like public speaking, basically. So somebody here could be like a public speaker or talk to people in public all the time or a lot. So let's find out what's going on with this uh, public speaker here. You got the devil car here. You got the Knight of Wands in reverse. And you got the King of Wands in reverse. Okay, so this is the spell work shit that we were talking about just a second ago. So you got a father and a son energy out here who's doing, um, make, enter into contracts or covens with the devil here. Or doing a uh, demonic uh, working um, spell work. And with the uh, Mercury in the 10th house, that has to do with speaking over, maybe speaking over your career or your uh, finances or something like that. But it also could be somebody who is um, trying to speak over your, uh, nor you know, uh, what you do, essentially. You know what I'm saying? But yes, I see a Knight, of, a Knight of Wands and a King of Wands in reverse here. So this is definitely a Leo and a Sagittarius energy is what I'm seeing here. Capricorn, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Uh, somebody's trying to do some kind of binding work is also what I'm seeing here. Somebody's trying to attach themselves to some kind of energy, like an incubus, succubus energy, maybe. Or somebody's out here basically is just trying to do some kind of spell work or binding work. Yeah. Let's see what else we got out here. We got the four swords in reverse. We got the six of swords in reverse. And we got the ten of pen of, I mean ten of wands in reverse. Okay, yeah, basically, um, somebody is having like somebody can't get away from this restlessness that's going on in their mind. Something in there, it's paralyzing them. Somebody is uh, either this is the spell work that they're trying to do, but the vibe that I'm getting here is that this has to do with the people who's doing the actual spell work here. Um, they aren't resting or they can't fully sleep like they want to. And they can't get out of this circumstance situation here. So maybe they are doing spell work to try to keep you trapped in something and to keep you uh, over over exert yourself mentally or whatever is what I'm seeing here. Because, you know, with this ten of pinnacle, ten of wine energy here, this is basically the energy of somebody who can't, you know, if you can basically they're trying to attack the way that you think so that you will, you know basically uh can't take care of yourself or you don't work so hard to do certain things you know what i'm saying basically like if you set your mind to a task for you to um pretty much give up on it or walk away from anything that has difficulty you know so basically this is that same bullying energy that we were talking about uh all the, all up into the you know this is the same bullying energy. This is somebody who wants a name for themselves, but um, this isn't the way that you go about getting a name for yourself. But that's something their dad should have taught them, right? Like, you know, but all the thing that's happening here is people, this person or these people are exposing uh, their demons or what's really wrong with them. And they're looking for people to actually vocalize it. You see what I'm saying? I did be, pick up on that energy with somebody was sending all kind of shit towards me 
or trying to get me to um, speak up on certain things that they're going through in their life to help them, you know, think it out, you know, but that's not my fucking job. You know what I'm saying? Like you're a grown, you're a grown man and or woman. So why should I have to tell you what to think? And that's the problem here. Somebody wants someone to like, kind of like tell them what to think. And because of that, since that's not working, someone basically is, uh, you know, trying to bind you in a manner where you're, you know, bind you in this energy that they're in. And the energy that they're currently in is this um, restlessness. They can't sleep that well. Uh, they only sleep for a couple of hours, wake up, go to sleep for a couple of hours, wake up. And you also have it where they can't get out and then you know, um, not necessarily burdened by things, but they're so trapped in their mind that it's like they don't, they aren't functioning, basically. Someone here is, there's, there's like the energy of a non-functioning person or a person who isn't functioning correctly, and they probably are doing spill work. They probably, you know, even though they have these problems, they're still doing spill work. Yeah, and I see two kids here that's alongside with them. You know what I'm saying? So not only do you have um, like maybe a father or a, a masculine energy and a son here, but you also have two other two other children here, right? So you got this uh, five of cups in reverse here. You got the page of swords in reverse and the page of pentacles in reverse here. So yeah, whoever this is, there's uh, rumors that's starting to build up about this person because they cannot walk away. This person is addicted here. This Someone has an addiction to magic and to the spell work that they've been doing on you or against you. So of course, naturally, they're gonna start lying to people and tell people, oh, I can stop whenever I want. But in reality, you cannot because you have an addictive personality. Yeah. You have the page of pentacles here because as a result, someone is losing a lot of shit. And I'm pretty sure this has to do with both of these people here. They're both losing things one by one, pinnacle by pinnacle. They also could be losing their mind sword by sword. The plans that they initiated against you are, it is not going to work out. It's like they're brainstorming things about you or against you, and it's not it's not getting them anywhere. Also, um, you know, they could be trying to uh, block your finances and in blocking in attempting to block your finance. It's actually taking away from them and their energy. And then you have the five of cups here. It's like basically the universe is telling them, like, just whatever, just walk away from this shit. Just leave it the fuck alone. And they're like, no, I, I, I can't eat this. You know, it's like that. You know what I'm saying? Got the Queen of Wands in reverse, the cup, King of Cups in reverse, and the Temperance in reverse. So yeah, there's these. This could be a couple here. Um, you have a King of uh, Queen of Wands in reverse and a King of Cups in reverse. This is a witch or warlock or um, someone who does magic that's teamed up with a narcissist. Or this could be the same person. Okay. It's basically somebody is indulging in their narcissistic behavior and things of that nature. This person is bipolar. Okay. I'm being called to uh, let you know that that person, whoever this person is, they are bipolar. And they have mental problems here. So, um, yeah. That's crazy. So, you have this energy of like, um, Let's see what the Queen of Wands, that's an Aries energy, a karmic Aries energy. The King of Cups could be a um, karmic Pisces. And the Temperance in reverse, that is a um, Sagittarius. Karmic Sagittarius, right? So, yeah, somebody out here is definitely still not over this whole spell work shit. You know what I'm saying? And they're just. They just keep them. They just keep going at it. You know what I mean. So I'm gonna clear this up, and then uh, I'm gonna go to the next one. Cause we hear this all the time, right? Basically, the universe is just kind of confirming, like you know, they're not gonna let up. And you know, with my spirit, with my uh, spiritual warfare thing, I don't expect the people who did spiritual warfare against me to light up, to stop, to light up, or anything like that. Because at the end of the day, it's like I don't have anything to prove. 
but the people who are doing the spill work they have more to prove than i do you see what i'm saying so it i could tell them like you know it doesn't there's no negotiating with people like that and if you don't believe me you can look at the last video that i did about that book the law of human nature that's the overall key that i was getting at is that if you're in the spiritual warfare and you're trying to do like uh understand them and get to know them everything you need to know about those people is in that book okay so if you choose not to forgive them if you choose to walk away and all of that shit, it's supported because your self-care matters more at this time, okay? Um, I'm not saying you don't have to forgive them and all of that because honestly, that's what they're counting on, you forgiving them so they can keep doing shit. And then they're like, sorry. You know what I'm saying? But in reality, they're not, okay? And that is one of the most unforgivable sin to continuously sin against someone or against God and you know knowingly doing it and asking for forgiveness but continue to knowingly do what you just prayed against pray or ask for forgiveness for so the universe is going to take care of all of that or whatever so yeah like i said you know don't get caught up in trying to forgive them or overindulge in uh, your lighter side this is a time for you to balance your light and your dark side remember i told you in that video like you've got full authorization to use your dark side as long as you come back into balance that's for a reason you know what i'm saying that reason is between you and god i got my personal reason but you know what we got here? Um, we got Venus in the 11th house here. Okay, so this has to do with uh, a romance in a uh, friendship circle here. Uh, Venus in, um, what is that, Libra? No, it wouldn't be Libra. Venus in um, Aquarius? Gotta be Aquarius. Venus in Aquarius. Let me see what that, well, let me see what that one says here. And then you tell me if it's true or not, all right? Venus and Neptune, nope. Uh, dun, 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 dun. What is this, complimentary shit? I don't give a fuck about this complimentary shit. I think I'm gonna just go back to the back of the listener. Hold on. Venus. What is that? Venus 11th house? Hold on just a second here. Venus, sun sign, Scorpio, sun sign. Oh, okay. So Venus through the sign. So, um, this would be what? Venus and Aquarius? Okay, hold on. Okay, so basically, um, this energy is uh, considered to be harmonious with uh, the air and the fire sign working together, which is what um, uh, Venus and um, Venus and Aquarius. Yeah, generally the energy is kind of like harmonious or whatever. Um, I didn't roll a die for the um, house though. Which I should have did, but I don't have that other die, so I have to get some more. But uh, either way, um, the vibe that I'm getting here with uh, that Venus and the Aquarius energy has to do with like, um, not necessarily a love, like a it's having this passion or this um, it it has to do with like a passion among like maybe like friend. It has something to do with a friendship circle, right? Although Aquarius is also governed by like um, freedom, humanitarianism, 
You know what I mean? So this could be a love for humanitarian work, like volunteer work. You could be thinking about volunteer work or doing volunteer work, or you could meet someone while doing volunteer work. Or basically the vibe I'm getting is like you being your free, un, you know, filtered self and, and loving and enjoying yourself accordingly to that. You have the tower in reverse here. You have the eight of pentacles out here and you got the will of fortune in reverse here. Yeah. So basically here, um, you could have took a hit with your money, but you're rebuilding your money factor right back up with the tower in reverse. Yeah. This is the vibe of repairing uh, some kind of monetary um yeah, repairing your money or getting your money right. So that's with the Venus and Aquarius. That put goes hand in hand because it's kind of like um, with Venus and Aquarius, and it, when it comes to like the eleventh house, because you know the eleventh house is governed by like um, like I said, like it's about your social circle, right? You may not see your social your friends a lot because of how hard you're working or how much you're working and you're trying to rebuild you know get your pinnacles and coins up so you may feel overworked at this time you got the knight of cups here in reverse you got the fool card and you got the lovers here yeah um i'm definitely seeing the energy of somebody who is um who missed out on a love offer here who decided to start over and walk away from like a love a love offer and possibly a long-term relationship yeah somebody somebody has freed themselves from some kind of social circle is what i'm seeing here and the in the social inside that social circle there could have been a love affair as well yeah let's see what else we got we got the page of cups out here we got the six of swords out here and we got the moon card in reverse okay yeah there's a secret that's coming out about um yeah there's somebody who is in this immature energy who's trying to run away because of something being revealed or something is coming out this could be about emotions this could be about a love situation as well you know what i mean because venus energy is out here the vibe I'm getting here is that there's somebody who's really shy about their emotions and stuff like that. And maybe they want to express it, but they express it in childish ways. But they're trying to trying to walk away from like maybe a toxic group or something like that. You got the five of five of wands in reverse. You got the eight of yeah, the eight of wands, and you got the high priestess in reverse. Yeah, this person doesn't know how to trust their intuition basically like this this group or whatever they were part of it, it kept them unbalanced for a long time well this person wants to stop fighting with you and make a truce they want to come in with the truth with you and they also want to you know make some kind of communication because you know you could have, be getting some kind of communication from someone somebody may be uh trying to um you know make up with you with this five of five of wands in reverse out here the five of swords generally talk about um you know you speaking your mind with each other almost like an apology you know what i'm saying you guys you know but this five of wands out here it gives me more the vibe of them just um just taking bold action towards you you know what i'm saying because that's an action oriented card the sword is more like about a thinking energy this one is more like you know, um, okay, maybe I messed up or whatever it may be. And I'm going to go, you know, talk to this person to make it right. Yeah, whoever this person is, um, I definitely see like some shy energy out here with the page of cups in reverse out here. Let's see what else we got before I switch. You got the uh, two of swords, the ace of pentacles and the nine of swords in reverse. Yeah, once this person makes this decision, it's going to change their whole financial situation here. There's some people, there's some people out here who's going to reconcile here. This could be somebody in your, uh, like I said, this could have been like a love affair in your uh, friendship circle. You could have been friends with this person and you guys uh, you just kind of like drifted apart or whatever, whatever reason or something just happened where you guys aren't active or talking to each other anymore. Well, um, the vibe that I'm getting here is that this person is getting ready to come in and try to communicate something with you. And it could very well be like an apology or something of that nature. There's no telling. Okay.
Last but not least, let's see here. Um, I got one more. And then I'm gonna call it a night. <clears throat> we got uh, Jupiter in the fourth house. Jupiter in the fourth house has to do about a jackpot. There's some money coming in here. There's going to be an increase in finances in the home situation. Somebody is getting ready to hit the jackpot or there's some money coming in. Or this could be about some money here. You got the five of cups in reverse out here. You got the seven of cups in the upright. And you got the um, queen of cups out here. Okay, so the vibe that I'm getting here, it, um, I was expecting money, honestly. Because Jupiter and Cancer... Generally has to do with like finances in the, um, a home situation and expansion, right? So uh, essentially what's expanding here has to do with uh, someone is walking away from something and they're uh, like somebody's following their intuition about something, some kind of choice. It's like somebody's being led somewhere to make a decision about something or to choose something to, you know, because they could have been disappointed by some people in the past. As a result, this opened up room for them to pursue something they always wanted to pursue. So, yes, yeah, somebody's definitely tapping into their childlike energy here. There's an expansion on a childlike energy here. You got the four of cups out here. You got the four of wands out here. And you got the queen of pentacles out here. Yeah. So, yeah, there's definitely some kind of expansion. Somebody is obsessing over you as like somebody is, is obsessing over you while you're expanding. I can see like uh, the four wands out here. It has to do with your foundation, home. It's basically that cancer energy all over again that I was talking about. Only this is the wand aspect of, it, of taking action on this circumstance situation. You have the queen of pentacles out here. So yeah, somebody out here is definitely um, either saving up for a home or they could be, um, yeah, saving up and watching the home market is the vibe that I'm getting here. The queen of pentacles. Either that or the vibe that I'm getting here has something to do with um, just the overall expansion um, into like this Wheel of Fortune energy. You know what I'm saying? Just, over, just an expansion. Like somebody isn't, um, you know, just rushing towards any and everything that is presented to them. It's kind of like someone is carefully making their moves and thinking things out before they make their move, especially when it comes to a home. And they're budgeting, somebody is budgeting and they're saving up. And I applaud you for that because that's not an easy task. You got the Page of Wands out here. You got the Emperor in reverse and you got the Nine of Cups out here. Yes, this new endeavor, it's gonna take some heartache and pain. This person may even come off as a tyrant or as bitter or something of that nature. But this is a part of the process. This is not an appeasement. This is just a part of the process. This person's attitude is alongside with it. You have the Queen of Swords out here in reverse. The Knight of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles out here. Yeah. So you also have this Karmic Woman out here. This Queen of Swords. Who is... um. basically representation of a, a woman generally it's like a woman or a feminine energy that's bitter or that uh you know i want to say like uh has like a nasty way of communicating things so the vibe that i'm getting here is that someone may have a nasty way of presenting their love to you and they're expecting that it grows you know what i'm saying we're all human you know what i'm saying you can't just come up to us and just you know, say a few things and then we're just like all over you or even even then, it's kind of like um, whoever this Queen of Wands is like, I mean, Queen of Swords is out here. Yeah, she's like, she's bitter. She's really bitter about a love offer that's coming in possibly for you. Let's see what else we got out here. We got the Sun card in reverse. We got the Seven of Swords out here. And we got the Eight of Swords in reverse here. Yeah. Somebody's trying to fool you in, into believing that you're stuck in something. That, but you're totally free. With the Sun card out here. Yeah. Somebody's trying to conceal the fact that um, you're free to go, basically. So if you were dealing with somebody who was doing spell work and stuff like that on you, uh, you're free to go. Or you will be free to go. Is the vibe that I'm getting here. You will be free to go. Okay. 
basically that's all that I got for you guys. Um, like I said, I'm gonna start um, practicing uh, my location skills, or whatever it may be, with my tarot. Feel free to join me when I do make the videos and stuff like that. If that's not your cup of tea, I understand completely, okay? All right, love y'all all. Y'all take it easy and uh, peace.